another episode of For Better or Worse. Y'all yeah. Better. How y'all ladies doing? Good, good, looking good. beautiful over there. I see y'all. Um, so I'm going to just get right to the point. A man paying all the bills, right? In this world of hypergamy, right? Where women want to date up, right? Should that man be allowed to cheat? Absolutely not. Why not? Just because you paying all the bills don't give you a pass to go out there and be disrespectful towards me. It's not right? you. It I'm is. Not in general. But no, it's not. In, it's not. No. She, what she said, you can't cheat just because you paying all the bills. You can't cheat because you paying all the bills. That's not how that go. Like if we commit it, we commit it. Right. It's the yeah. disrespect. It's the loyalty. That's what's wrong with people now. Oh, I'm making money. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm high value. They got everybody feel like they prime rib. Hmm. So because I'm prime rib, I can go do whatever I want to do. How about this? Just be honest. Like, listen, I don't want to commit a relationship and I'm going to do what I want to do. People start taking away people's rights. I'm going to take your right to choose, but I'm going to go and do this. Where is the loyalty? Where is the humanity, the morality? Well, one would argue. Go ahead, excuse me. No, I was just going to have a question. So if he's paying all the bills, is the, is the woman working also? Or is she stay at home? No, we're talking about hypergamy in a situation where, in a hypothetical situation where the guy, she's staying at home. She's having, he's he's giving her a certain lifestyle where she would never have to worry. However, well, give me the lifestyle like a bunch I of different women. Mm -hmm. But she's also giving him a lifestyle. He don't have to worry when he come home. As far as the house being clean, the kids being taken care of, dinner being ready, clothes being washed and folded. So she is, in a sense, contributing just as he's contributing as far agree. as the bills. Right. And just because he paid the bills, she might be the one to keep up with the bills, with the money. So, no, it doesn't give a man any pass because he put in money out. Anybody can put money out. That's the easy way out because you're not really lifting a hand. I'm going to say this then, right? So if he's... So a lot of women are trade, you know, going to work every day, living check to check with a loyal dude to be in a relationship, a high value relationship with a high value man, whatever that is, right? But with just the freedom, they don't have to work, they don't have to worry, and that's the trade off. I wouldn't say it's a lot of women. I would say it's some women, okay? And I would say those women, they, they just, um, I, I can't really say how they feel. In my mind, I would think it's something going on with them to where as though they feel less of to allow something like that to happen. But majority of the women, no. So I'm going I'm to go here. I'm not even going to say it's something going on with them. What I've learned, you got to make the rules to your relationship. Okay. What's going to work for y'all? Ain't going to work for the couple next door. And I think the problem is we got to communicate. I'm not knocking a woman who's going to say, listen, I'm trading in my man being faithful for a life of Legia. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with the trade off. I'm not knocking that woman. If it's working for you, it's working for you. Right? I think we got to come away from this high value. We got to throw that in the trash. We got to get rid of that. Because I think it's two people making a commitment. Hey, this is what the relationship going to look like. Mm -hmm. The relationship won't look like, Shay, you don't have to work. You don't have to do anything. But I am going to go be with other women. Well, what if it's like one of those things where what's understood ain't got to be said? It, that, that's bull crap. Because we grown. Everything got to be said. Ain't no such of, thing as I under... The I guy understand. might feel like he don't have to explain anything. Like, well, then we got that. this lifestyle. No. So now we got a bigger issue. No, we got a bigger issue. Because we always have... That's the problem why relationships don't prosper and don't do well because people are not communicating stop assuming that i know what's going on i think a lot of that comes with just the internet and people getting to look inside of other people's lives we're not people. internet relationship we yeah but people. i'm just saying though but that's what like a lot of the young people that's why it's a conversation because it's not like this is a new thing like our great grandfathers used to cheat and have families everywhere and then you meet everybody at his dad going funeral that's what great great grandfathers used to be able to take care of two homes great great grandfather used to be all here and damn near be able to do a house yeah See, we can't a lot of times what I'm learning, it's just like the Bible, and it's just like we want to compare relationships to back in the day. Yeah. A lot of times, people not standing on what it used to be back in the day. And a lot of times, and at the Women same are, time. And, and hold on, because before mm -hmm. you even go there, 
women now are so disrespectful. Back in the day, if Miss Barbara was sleeping with your husband, Miss Barbara ain't say nothing to you. Miss Barbara wasn't coming up on the internet posting sneak pictures. Miss <laughs> Barbara wasn't doing all that. Yeah. Miss Barbara could have a whole hu a baby with your husband, and she was never stepping out of line and being disrespectful. It'd be just she two was... little kids that look alike at the right. playground. And guess what? Y'all kids used to play together. And no, it was the the respect. Now in days, people, it's it's the flex to be a side chick. It's a flex to be the other woman. Oh, and he bought me this too. And guess what? I got a kid for him too. Men don't even put boundaries on the side chick Ask no more. this though. As women, like what is that? Like what is that feeling? Not saying that you probably personally is feeling like, but like as a man, I might not do certain stuff, but I can understand because I, I got the same Correct. chemical makeup, right? Yeah. But what is it in women that feel like, like this is even like the self-esteem thing or shame where they'll come out and be like, yeah, I'm sleeping with your man. And yeah. It ain't this, no shame yeah. no more. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's nothing to do with self-esteem or nothing like that. I think when these females are coming out, I think that they are emotionally attached to the guy. And Boy. they feel as though if I let if I let her know, she's she going to leave him alone and, and then I, I have him. Yeah, so it's, about, it's, it's, it's about, really about getting the guy. It's about getting well, the right. guy. And let me tell you, most of the times when they get the guy, what happened? He ain't what, he ain't what he you thought he was. He want to do the same thing. He want to repeat the same thing. And also, he ain't what you thought he was. But sometimes what people don't understand you get riled up in the fight with mm -hmm. the female. Sometimes people don't understand. Now it's about the fight with her. It ain't even about him. You think it's about him, but I'm in competition with her. I'm going to show her. And I then think, once the fight is over and you get the man, you're like, yo, this nigga ain't that. But here's the other thing. This is, I think, what the women are thinking. It's because he's cheating on his significant other with the, the girl. He's being more open and sharing with the girl. So she feel like they got some different connection, right? A deeper connection. So she think that if she sabotages this relationship, because she thinking they're super duper close, but she don't understand that on the man's side, I'm just trying to, you just, when I, you know, when I just, my fun, I love my family no matter what. Men wired a little different. Our family's our family. Yeah, I talk to you, but that's it. We talk to God and he only answers sometimes. I agree you with know that. what I'm saying? So, I so but she'll mistake that as in like, I'm in there, it's a bond. And he talked to me more than his wife. I know stuff about him his wife don't know. And she sabotaged. And it's like, he never, you know, she thinking just because of that, she can have a better relationship mm -hmm. with him. But in all reality, it's not what he wants. He like it how it is. Right. And he that's likes the because, And that's because he put that belief in her. There you go. What so, belief, though? But, but my, my thing is this, because it's come to this. If you go into a chick and you tell her everything she want to hear, y'all dating, she's going to get emotionally attached. So she's going that's to say that's, something but see, that that's is if, not. If, that's if, all right, to both of y'all point, I think that's if, it's one thing if you lying to somebody, right? Meaning that you're pretending that you're single and you got a whole nother family. It's another thing if she know you got a family. See, that's the difference. Where she feel like she closer. She may, she may know he has a family, but he may be saying, well, this issue's going on. You know, I'm working on leaving. So, you know, but I got the kids with her, this and that. You never know so what that, a yeah, person too. is I'm, telling someone. I'm speaking, from, I'm speaking from the hypothetical situation that he's not trying to make some promises to her that he's going to leave her. Even though, and a lot of times now, the broke nigga shit where he might just be handsome, whatever, and he can sling some dick. So he might just sell dreams of, I'm going to be with you. But the dude with the money ain't got to do all that. That's true. That's true. And you, you do. Because as long as she's getting spoon fed money. Right. You do have some females that when I'm pretty sure I don't condone being a side chick, but you do have some females that, you know, when they meet a guy, they might be looking at him just for the money. Okay. You're going to take care of me. I'll take care of you. This and that. But as I stated before, feelings start to get attached. Yes. yes. Women are emotionally created. No matter how much we try to run away from it. No matter how much women try to run around and say, oh, no, I don't care. We're not created that way. And us women, we have to be okay with that. Like, I'm okay being, I'm an emotional person. We need to be okay with that. Stop running around thinking you can have sex with these men and not catch feelings. Mm, that part. To, so let's stop pretending that we can operate on the same level as men. That's the thing. That's, but that's feminism. We, we could do the same thing. Throw it trash. <laughs> because we can't do the same thing. We're, we're not going to be able to do the same thing. Yeah. What I love about black women, we are the most educated. We're on the rise. The most entrepreneurs. We're doing us, right? 
But when it comes to emotionally, how we That's feel, still women. we're still female. Yeah, it's still women. We're still female. So we got to go away from the mindset, I can do what he don't. No, I can't. I'm about to go in the corner and cry right now. I think, I I think can't you know, do fairness, <laughs> with the education part and all that stuff, I, you can do what men do. But here's the thing. We're still men and women. And, and we are different, and that's okay. It's okay that we're different. Yep. We're equally different. You know what I mean? So, like, when a man steps into that realm where he's trying to do what women do, and I'm not talking about jobs where he's doing something that's traditionally a woman job or vice versa. A lot of these but, men want to be when, chased. But, here, but when that part, but when a man steps into this thing where he's being a woman, we're going to call him zesty and da da da. So, it's no different than when a woman is trying to be a man and operate like a man with all the makeup on. That's to that's to a certain guy. That's a turnoff because that's like an, like a too. dude. Think like the man. That that's a dude for I real. I understand that too. Someone. I think it's understand that, but I think we also people because of the time where we are, we have stepped away from gender roles. People ain't going like this. All right, I believe ahead. in gender roles. I believe in gender roles, and I think it was there and it was created for a reason. Too. I believe in traditional makeups of the household. I believe in those things are tradition for a reason. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people got to get in line and got to get in their place. A lot of people ain't operating in their currency. A lot of people are not operating in their currency. Talk heavy, if shorty. If you are a female, I am a female. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I cook, clean. I... Sometimes I don't feel like doing it, mm -hmm. but I feel like just because I'm a female... It's part of my role. But I think I think a lot of it got to do with just having a family as well. Yep, responsibility of so family. So like, I think like even when we were talking about traditions in general, like we live in a different time where everybody is not a mom or everybody's not a dad or the way our work schedules work. So like I think to a certain degree, traditions you modify those traditions Based to your living your living experience. Based How you exactly. living? Because most women, if you have a family. You may not be able to cook every single day of the week. Who does it right? Yeah. You know, and I'm for me, like I have children, and I have children from all ages. Yeah. And I have football, I have lacrosse, I have soccer. Mm -hmm. And basically, I'm on the field five days a week. But me, personally, I love to cook. So what's on Sundays, I may cook four meals the last mm -hmm. week of the week so I don't have to eat outside. Right. And some days, I'm going to fall short, right? Because mm -hmm. we're all human. So it's like, oh, this is a Chick-fil-A night. Because Austin was on the field to 8 30, right. 9 o'clock. So you do twist and turn based off what your schedule looks like. I think a lot of times women may understand that, but I feel like men don't. And here's what I mean I feel like a man feel like the house is the woman's job, even though the woman may be going out to work 40 plus hours too. So that man may not, he may have to understand hey, babe, I need you to clean the house today because I worked all day and I got to take the kids to practice i think it's got to be a give and a take i feel like most men not all but some men they come home from work baby and they feel like they have conquered the world and <laughs> they feel like they have conquered the world and they don't understand the woman has gone to work but that's not our that's not our biological makeup go ahead i just want to give number one kudos to you for doing all that you do being a strong woman but i also want to give kudos to my husband okay because my husband he work he come home he take care of the house he makes dinner, okay? Not to say that I can't, because I know how to cook. I know how to clean. But my husband know that I be extremely tired when I get off of work. I get off of work a lot later than him. Mm -hmm. So as he was saying, it depends on the the relationship, the scheduling the and household. everything. And thank you, baby, for You're being welcome. It's amazing not always. You do stuff, but, too. Like, let me say this real quick, too, what you were saying, right? A couple of things. Like, biologically, like, so, all right, so back to what you said with traditions, right? Traditionally, you know, we was able to live off of one income, so mom mm -hmm. can stay home and raise the family. However, we don't live in that world no more, oh, right? No. But that's how we naturally wired to a certain degree. It was in our DNA because we did it for so long up until now. All you right. understand what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of guys don't got it in them to understand that, hey, yo, you know, like, she's tired too. A lot of guys expect women to work, suck and fuck, Take and clean and take, take the kids, kids together and all these other things. Yep. And, and, and like, how dare you be tired? Hmm. And that's the problem. Well, and, yeah. and even though in a lot of women, we get called gold diggers for something that's how we wired. We're wired to be taking kids. We're, yeah. we're, we're wired that way. Yes. But I feel like just like women had to jump on a bad wagon and get it together. Yeah. I had to go out here and work too. Men got to jump on a bad wagon and get it together. So and in other words, the household. So in other words, it's like, now, this is where the lines of traditions blur, where, you know, since we traditionally a man will work and 
and the wife would stay home. Now in today's society, women are working and men need to start doing more home. And this is where we need to communicate. Work, yeah, communicate and work together because a lot of guys be still went in sex and all that. After she done did all this, washed clothes, fold, went down to the river and washed the clothes, <laughs> hung them on the line, yeah. waited for them to dry, ironed them with the fire, the, the, the iron that you got heat up on the stove, folded everything, fucking braid the kid's hair, all that stuff and cook, made apple pie from scratch. And what the work and niggas still want some pussy. They don't care. And my thing is this. Me. And and I'm gonna say my this, bad. and this is what makes <laughs> and, and what you just said is key. Because a man will see you doing all of that, and then when you fall short in the bedroom, oh, that's why I went to cheat. That's why I cheated with Jane down the road. Yeah. Because you was falling short in the bedroom. But it's like free time. But Jane got, got a lot of free time. time. And Jane ain't washing your dirty drawers and wiping snotty nose of your kids and getting your kids back and forth to practice either. Sidebar. That's why a lot of times a side chick think you're so great because she ain't got to deal with you washing shit stained boxes or your dirty ass work clothes, your socks with the holes in it. She think you're great because there's no stress in the relationship. It sure ain't. Y'all don't have to deal with each other, make <clears throat> bills with each other. He forgot to take the trash out. I keep telling this nigga to fix the leak or whatever. But with her, it's like, you know, he it's coming and going. Here. Yeah, it's yep. great. He coming over here smelling like cologne. He coming over here looking good, smelling good. He done bought me something from Chick-fil-A. We about to eat and watch a movie. You're living a good life. You're not getting... Then he come home not hungry. And then you come home <laughs> and you give her hell. Yeah. You come home and you yeah. give her hell because she loves you so much. Mm -hmm. And she got to put up with everything that you give. And I think that's what's not fair. And I'm not saying women are not perfect. We are all flawed. Well, but I'm going to say this. But the way women are nowadays, in my opinion, is a reaction to how men are. Correct. And that's just like why women get the degrees and work so hard. You know why? Because we stop believing in our men. I just want you to elaborate more on that. Which part? How you said... How men were is how women oh, are. Oh, right. well, how we are, rather. Like, for instance, right? I'm going I'm to use another example that's kind of off the point, but same logic. Remember the KKK and what they was doing back in the day? Mm -hmm. And then their reaction to that was the Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. To counter it. So, like, men was <clears throat> men were running over top of one man, putting their they foot on their neck, having side families and this, that, and the third, depending on men. And a woman that depend on a man, right? He cheat and, and she ain't working 20 years and they get a divorce. Now she has no work experience. She has anything. Now she got to get out here and fend for herself and start over at 35, 40 years old. Mm hmm and then imagine, and it all depends on the, the type of man it is. If he's a good man, he's going to do right by his wife, right? But then you, everybody is not a good man. Correct. So he's, he come home, he had a bad day at work, pop smacked her. Now the son's sitting in the corner, he getting all fucked up because he's watching dad beat on mom or, and all kinds of weird stuff because people are just people and everybody deal with stuff different. So women got to imagine going to work every day to a fucked up boss. You don't know what you expect every day. It all depends on what mood they're in because they got all this power and control over your life. And it's like, it's all based on how they feel. Who wants to be like that? Correct. So a lot of the times with the moms who's teaching the daughters, all daughters across the board and us men, we ain't had nothing to do with it, but we reaping the effects of it. They were like, nah, we not going to teach you to be under people's thumb. How did your grandfather raise you? My grandfather raised me to be independent. Yeah, because he understood the way, and, and mothers did the same thing, because they understood how men operate. And that's unfortunate. And that's a fear. And, and then with us and our daughters, right, I challenge, I go back and forth with myself, like, am I raising her to be a wife, or am I raising her to be a boss? And that's a hard thing that's to do. That's a balance do. right there. It's a balance. You want to find somebody. You want her to be able to find somebody. Back in the day, I have a good friend who went to Harvard. Yeah. And she has her diploma on the wall, but she's a stay-at-home mom. Right. And you know what she was taught? You go to Harvard to find your husband, right. not to find the job. Mm. And I think that hasn't been a luxury for black women. That has not. It's It's been, we're on this, on a teeter-totter. Like, I want to be a good woman so I can find my husband. I want to be submissive. I want to be all these things. But it don't look good. Anything that you hear about marriage, relationship, it's a lot of cheating. It's a lot of foolishness. And when you give up your financial freedom, it's over for you because you have to stay in stuff that you would not necessarily stay in because mm -hmm. you can't get out here and get on your feet. That's but just true. like um, how she have a degree on her wall and all those, her family told her she's going to college to meet, to meet her husband. If something was to go wrong in a relationship, she has a degree. She has a career. But what's path. she gonna do with it? She you gonna you can do it. You have I mean, a degree. You've been you sitting can... home for twenty years and you ain't got no work experience. You can have a degree, but what's the 
they want five, ten. These jobs, they don't ridiculous. Yeah, some she some jobs, some jobs job, do job, want experience, but you have some that don't. Mm-hmm. Like where I work at now, you don't have to have experience. Mm-hmm. We will train you, and this is a six figure job, so it's easy for anyone to get out there and, and get and you know and get on that feet. You have to want to, but that's why I believe my grandfather raised me the way I did. He raised me to be independent, not to be independent, like to say, don't have a man, don't depend on a man, but, be but to be able to a parachute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be able to take care of myself throughout life is something, you know, so I won't have to be so dependable, like, oh my goodness, if you leave me, I, I have trouble. nothing. Mm-hmm. See, but see, not even on the negative side, though, like stuff happens. You get in a, somebody get in an accident and they have a health crisis and they can't do, what provide, they do. either provide solely or just put their, bring their part to the table. So, like, it's it's a lot of different factors, and and we don't live in a society for the most part where it's just a man taking care of women. It just don't exist. You got to really be making a lot of money. It depends on. There's so many different factors. Depending on what state you live in, mm-hmm. it's so many different factors. Nobody's really taking care of nobody solely. It might be it might be sixty forty thirty seventy fifty fifty. But that's both of y'all one hundred or one hundred. Yep. That's both of y'all one hundred percent. But you know what? Because what you told me was. People worrying about lifestyles they not even living. They can't even afford. They be like, in the wrong people these business. These people, they, they in rich people business. They yeah. in wealthy people business because honestly, we can all say it'll be great if your man can pay 100% of the bills. I work in banking. I work in the right. finance world. It ain't happening. The best credit, the best interest rate you can get right now is what, 8%, 9%? Yeah, you know, that's, like that. that's the best. Right. That's the best that you could get. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You got any dings on your credit or anything like that, that's going up. When you're looking at the average mortgage in a decent house, a decent house size, mm-hmm. a good neighborhood, the mortgage is what, 2003 grand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Health care, mm-hmm. food. So when you think about it, I hear women saying, it, and I ain't knocking women, I love you for that. If that's the lifestyle that you want and you're standing on it and you're yeah. going to get it, I love it. But is it reality? Like a lot of people be shunning people, oh, he want me to go 50 50. Okay, so what? That's where we are with it. I'm like this with it. If my man, if my husband have can take care of all the bills, Great. I'm still not going to stay home because I can go out and work and I can bring no. in extra income for us. Although it doesn't have to go to the bills because he can handle it, but it can go into our savings. savings. Yeah. And then, God forbid, something happens because stuff happens. That's what I'm saying. People get into an accident. He may not be able to work for a year. You mm-hmm. know that I got, I got us covered. Yeah. Like, I'm good. Who can really good. afford to stay home? Like, like you said, it's an accident. But like, like even then, if two grown ups, right, living on their own, could afford to take care of themselves individually with nobody help, what people don't fail, what people fail to realize, why they just trying to repeat talking points and live off talking points on the internet that don't fit them in the wrong people business. It's like, but they forget is that if he could take care of himself and she could take care of herself, and we bring these two things together under one roof, that this chop set in half, and whatever you was doing, that's all back. This, like you said. That's true. We could take this. This could be our vacation. Yep. You know, we could plan on starting a family. You know what I'm saying? We could invest in the stock market, get a brokerage account, and, and trade. There's so many different things you could do, but everybody just so trying to, like, one-up each other, get over on each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 it all these under it's crazy the way we think and how we look at each other as men and women. I think that's come, and this is not me taking up for women because, like I said, we are flawed. But I feel like women have gotten so scared and feel like they can't trust the black man because all he gonna do is cheat and lie. But that's so not all makes, black men, though. It's not it's all like, black. It's like, but it's, that's just like if that's all the experiences that you have had, it's gonna but make that, it scary. But when that go to how the type of women men pick. Because, like, it's no different than a dude. Like, men understand, like, we're not going to call every woman a freak because we slept with one chick mm-hmm. the first day and she was like this, like that. We know that was just who she was. Right. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times, men get called out for shit their grandfathers did. <laughs> That's true. The niggas wasn't even alive. That's true. <laughs> like, yo. Yeah. But 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 it's not to say that, you know, growing up in the, the late 80s and 90s, even with the music and how we looked at women, fuck a bitch, this, that, and the third, mm-hmm. like that played a role in how men looked at women yeah. as well. Yeah. So, I, so it's not to say that women shouldn't shouldn't feel the way they feel, but I, I think a lot of the vitriol and animosity and hate and um, resentment is for like a generation of men that's fucking old 
or even did and we paying the price i think um unfortunately i think it starts a lot from the father <clears throat> if your father i think you can tell the difference between a woman who had a father in her life and one that did not i think a lot of times it starts right there answer me this how could how you think a man could tell the difference like what would be the things standards, that stand out standards boundaries <clears throat> a woman who has said, said that, only reason I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna let you finish your thought only reason i said that because like yo you could be raised by a single mom and still be all right in some cases in some cases I'm saying. but i'm gonna tell you the difference I think the difference in single single mom mm -hmm. and dad in the life, I have seen what my my friends, the ones who had their dad in their life going to stand on business. Mm -hmm. They got certain standards and certain boundaries, especially if they were taken care of and safe by their dad. Yeah. That's what they want to look for. you definitely could tell when they did. Who yeah. never had it, they don't know what the hell they're looking for. I'm yeah. looking for love. That's all. I'm looking for a man that's going to love me that I never got from my dad. So she's going to be willing to bite down and bear and let stuff slide that she wouldn't necessarily yeah. slide. Because you can have a bad dad. Yeah. That's why I say a dad that made you because safe. Because a, a lot of times, right, because a lot of times, yo, we be, we be, it's like when you see people, it's a mirror of who they, who raised them and their experiences. Correct. So you could tell if they had a fault. Like, to, I'm making you to your point. Yeah. Go ahead. I, um, I have to disagree on that only because I myself, I didn't have my father. Mm -hmm. I didn't meet my father until I was 24 years old. Right. And I like to think that um, a lot of people can't tell that. But and I'm going to ask you this. And, and, and I thought that you was raised by, I thought your father was in your life when I met and, you. And, this, and, and that's, what I, that's what I was going to get to. It really depends on who's in that child life, life, how that child is being raised. I don't think it matter if the father is in the house or not because if the father's not there is there another man, man in that that's family what I was, gonna ask you. was it a strong that, man like your grandfather yeah my grandfather he gave me advice and everything but i still didn't i, I didn't have that father bond I, I i was missing that mm -hmm. and i knew that i was missing that that's why i went and found my father mm -hmm. but when you found your dad do you think that made your relationships better no like when you oh not at all. So, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but, but, but so, but to you, go ahead, finish your thought. Um, I was just going to say, um, no, it didn't make my relationships better as far as, you know, me dating or anything, but it did give me that closure sure. that I needed of not having that missing void, not me having too. him in my life. Yeah, but that's so. where uncles come in, grandfathers and stuff. So mm -hmm. a father figure is no different than a father. Like your grandfather is a father figure. So to, you still made a point, but yeah, it's the same. We saying the same thing. I think, and I think that matters. I think, but about, I hate when I say this, right? I think sometimes we got to go all the way back to even the slave days. Our black men has been saying so much stuff so that I think that plays a part in how they show up because of their own trauma. I think more often than none, people don't see black men of having trauma and having issues. Absolutely not. Nobody they get cares. rolled over top of. I think they get rolled over top of. And, and in general, I but, think it's also yeah. because black men have a lot put on their shoulders the moment and we don't they're know. born a black yes male. They're born with the issues, right? Right. But they have a lot women, of things to overcome. And, and us women, you're more tolerated in society. So <laughs> I, so I go both ways. I work in corporate America, and sometimes I feel like black women get picked last. Like we gotta show up. We gotta show up. With everything that mm -hmm. I, I can agree, um, we we get picked last. Go ahead, do your thing. Go ahead. I think in a corporate, talk. I think in a corporate world, we get picked last. I, I, you got to have agree. four degrees, and guess what? They gonna take the guy with the one degree that's just fresh out of college, don't know nothing, and we got to train them. And we got, I think it's just we have we to work short. harder mm -hmm. and show ourselves more mm -hmm. just to be accepted for for us, you know, for us knowing what we know and be in a position of what we need to be yep. in. Um, it took me um, when I was at my job and I wanted a certain position. And I knew I was for it. I knew everything about it. I could handle it. Everybody was laughing at me, taking me for a joke. I was like, no, I'm going to be in that position. Mm -hmm. Ha, 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 ha. I had to constantly prove myself and prove myself. Mm -hmm. I had to land a, a big um, deal with a, 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 um, with a, a company to come and get all these cars from me. For them to finally see, okay. She can do it. She can do it. To f then for them to put me in the position that I've been saying, hey, I can do. Hey, I can do. All right, here go a little bit of what about me-ism. But it's just like, anyway, no. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you serious this shit over <laughs> you you ask, Yo, I ain't doing it. Think... I'll give you the promotion. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. so I think oftentimes <laughs> it's women. 
we just got to show up everywhere. We got to show up at home. I got to be the wife. I got to the view. Go ahead. Yeah, I think <laughs> as women, we got to show up at home. But I think it go back to back to what I said. We got to communicate with our partners. We got to communicate with our spouse and let them know what I am looking for. I read a book by Brene Browns and it says, she said, this is how she communicate with her husband. Hey, I only got 80 today. Mm-hmm. What you got? You got 20. Okay. And sometimes we show up. I only got 30. I got 30. So we're going to have to figure it out. I think you got to have those conversations. The biggest problem is I find that we just assume. Yeah. I assume, and I'm guilty of it. You know, a fan is though, but I agree with you a thousand percent. I heard, I heard about that book and I heard that. And I agree with that. I think a lot of times, man, like he's got to read the room. And we got to communicate because sometimes we be so into what happened to us today, mm-hmm. how my day was, mm-hmm. that sometimes you forget to say, well, how was your shit? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because you might come home, you in a good mood, and this motherfucker sour, grumpy, <laughs> he ruining your shit, or vice versa. <laughs> yep. And but you, you know your spouse. Say. So huh? like you said, read the room. You know your spouse. You can read that energy like but, you know them. Yeah, I agree, yep. but that's what I'm saying. But sometimes it happens. That's why I named all of it. I covered every base when I said that. Um... That's why sometimes you're not thinking about it. Sometimes you just all in your shit, boy. That work was yeah. Mm-hmm. High five and leaving out the door that motherfucker. I see y'all tomorrow. Or oh, you call it. Then you come home, this no? motherfucker got yelled at. <laughs> yeah. He right here. He his tail hit. I was like, man, I had to think about the light bill. I was about to fuck my boss up. And, and that's where the communication come, come in. in. And and I was, and I'm going to say that. an environment where y'all can talk. Yeah. Because a lot of times, you know, for men, not to cut you, excuse me, a lot of times for men, like, we don't never want to really seem vulnerable to our lady. Why is that? Why? Because we just don't want to look weak. You're, you're not we, weak. I'm not saying that we don't, but I'm like, saying, like... Like, to your ladies, I'm it. your best friend. That's how I feel. You but know, you is, should be open, you should tell that's me, different, you know... though, because everybody don't get to that level. Like, you looking at it based on how we talk to each other. No, we no, call no. each other stupid-ass dummy. <laughs> love you. We are friends. We are best friends, right. correct. But everybody don't have that type of communication. Mm-hmm. They can't even joke with each other. That's the problem. You can't even call your girl and fun going on in the background like Kevin Hart said. <laughs> oh, you having fun? Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's different for other people. And I think so. And I think also, not only reading a room, sometimes you can't, you can't let your day follow you home. Yeah, you cannot let your day follow you home, and I've been guilty. Home at home. Yep, I've been guilty of letting my day follow me home, rather be a tough, a tough mom day, because tough mom days be real. No, because some although home every fucking day. Listen, because you're my best friend, I be needing to vent. And I, I, but hold on, at first I used to get to me, but I do acknowledge the fact that I'd be like, yo, yeah, let her get her shit off. Yeah, it's just vent. Like, you know, it's, it's my way to get it off my chest. Once it's out like, and open, I'm done. Nigga. We at home, yo, fuck them. And I think it's like to keep it under control, like putting a time on it. Like, I yo, agree. I'm gonna give you the first thirty minutes at home to let it, you know, get it off your chest. Then we gonna stop. Yeah, you know, then sometimes we stop. you talk about some shit and you get mad all over again. Yep. Yeah, but yeah. So I think a lot of times we just let our day follow us home. We let the kids follow us home, and sometimes what I've learned, you gotta say fuck them kids, fuck work. <laughs> And I got to show up for my man in this space. Like, I'm home now, and I got to show up here. And I think a lot of people don't do that. They use their partner, especially their man, as their personal punching bag. Like, this is my personal punching bag. He's supposed to take whatever I give to him because he is my man, and we forget that they're human too. We don't often say, what the hell he been through today? Like, what's going on with him today? Is he tired today? Can I do something to make his day better? And I think as women, we mm. live this princess. I think we born like in this princess life and mindset that it's all about me. Yeah, that is the, a woman's mindset. And men do that too. It's, it's all about me. <laughs> like, I just want to make like sure we like, like, we want to keep that in there. Especially if you got a good man. Oh. And I think when you got a good man, you got to check yourself. Because when you got a good man that show up for you, you start to think he's supposed to. Like you better. He better show up in a minute that he don't. You like, excuse me, you're not showing up for me? You yes. like it's crazy to me. Right. I don't think that's nothing wrong with that. Because if I know I have a good man and he had my back, which my man is, and he and I know he gonna show up for me and the moment he don't, I'm like, what was going on? But that's because I'm a good woman to him. I got his back. And if that's he the point that I'm me, making. I'ma show up. So But I think that's the point that I'm making. In most cases that I seen, it's gotta be a two. A lot of street. times, a lot of times it's just one sided with they what you say mm-hmm. unequally yoked. Yeah, one person is just showing up and taking the other person for granted. Not necessarily you personally, but just in general, like just 
even when you look out there and the pe- stuff that people say when it, in relationships and stuff that men say, stuff that women say, and like for men, it's like, no, like to her point, like nobody cares what the fuck because we're men. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nobody think we got feelings. I know we human too. But- and, hold on, let me finish my thought. Nobody, it just falls on deaf ears. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of times men show up and nobody shows up for them. Not you per se. I'm not talking about you. But no, no, no. I, I get it. But I think um, I don't see nothing wrong with a woman, you know, seeing, seeing, seeing or feeling her man as a protector. That's so, nothing wrong with that either. No, Nobody, that. What's, what's wrong with that? I'm, so, like, if I need you, show up. Like, comfort me. You know? That's the thing. That's what, that's what she was saying. He, he is showing up. He is there. Nobody shows up for him or think about how he's doing. It's all one-sided. That's all he's doing is showing up. Like, you could pour. Imagine if you just pouring into somebody, right? Like, imagine, right? Every day, you tell me I love you, be, be handsome, you text me, you, you do all these things that make me feel good throughout the day. You don't know how my day going. But you imagine if I didn't give that in return, you just always you pull pulling me, from empty pull like And I didn't do anything back. And for a while, you come like that guy, you need a refill. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. And that's, but that's how that it is both for ways. men. That's, that's, but that's I don't, I, I, I can understand that's how it is for men in that situation, but I don't think that's how majority of relationships are. There yeah, are I some, but I, I can't, can't see it being majority. Talking about it. In general. Yes, in general, baby. Of course, it's not. I didn't meet everybody and talk to sit down and talk to everybody to see what's going on in their relationship, but it happens enough. That's the point. It happens. I think it happens that's, a lot. And, that, and, 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 and if you got your ear to the ground, that's what men are talking about. When you open up your app, you go to TikTok. That's why you got the whole soft guy era with guys <laughs> acting a certain type of way I or soft turning guy the tables. Era. I love it. I think it's funny. I, I think it's, it's funny, but I think it's sad. And... I think it's sad. I think this whole and I'm not knocking it because I'm one. I'm I'm babe, how you they doing? You good? I miss you, babe. Love you. Da da da. I'm you know on top of it. But this whole soft guy thing, if you want to be chased, let me call the police. Because I don't like it. I don't think they I really want to be. Go ahead. Go ahead. I hate no, it. No, because I was just gonna say with the soft guy era thing, I think that's more so of the woman, like it's a re it's a reaction to how women act. Remember we were talking about how mm-hmm. women is a reaction to how men were acting? Exactly. So that would be like... But, a, do you like that? Like, do you think that's a good thing? Like, these men wanting to be chased and these men want you to fly them out? You be hearing all type of radical stuff with these men. So Not a good man. No, but they don't, they don't really want to be flown out. Right. Funny. The, yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> no, you be surprised. But <laughs> but I wouldn't like I wouldn't mind like I, on my first date with my husband I believe I pulled my car out yeah. like I'm that type of person no it's not like I don't mind like yeah babe I'll fly you out like right. I don't mind being that way and I don't think that demasculate him that's just how I am as a person if I have it and I want to take care of him because I'm in love and I want to show him a good time it's nothing wrong it's with nothing him wrong it don't take it. it don't take away the masculinity from him or anything I don't like think it's that nothing wrong with it, but what I'm saying is back to traditions like don't be out here like don't be out here acting like no woman is supposed to take care of you and that's a cute thing and i'm gonna tell you and that's not that's a real thing because my 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 best friend my best friend anthony should go to the building no my no because hold on no go ahead finish it no but let me tell you my best friend anthony should go to hands love her to death she's been an entrepreneur since we've been kids she's always been an entrepreneur that's what she does make a killing right because the beauty industry it be booming she has had men oh you big money grip don't ever say that to me don't you ever say oh you got it you got like to me that is a turn off drizzle drizzle i'm about to run the minute a man come and somebody face that they trying to get to know and you say oh you got it don't ever say that but see that's the stuff that i I don't like i I agree with you but i don't think that has so hold on i think you kind of like Putting that into the soft guy era thing. Let me just touch up on it. Drizzle, drizzle in the building. <laughs> Jordy, I got us. Look, that is a response to all the ridiculous shit that women be asking for men. Some all women. Stuff that we was talking about. Because I'm on toy level. Outstanding things. These guys are, it's not literal. They're being funny. They, the way they acting is showing you how ridiculous some women are yeah. in response to You should see all of the divestors. They say they bought more black babies, black men ain't this. The internet is the fucking, it's middle school. <laughs> when it comes, when, not everybody, of course. I'm not, never space, nothing, it's all in general, right? So let me just be clear. But it is a war going. When you open that phone and you go on them apps, it's a war going on. It's, Fucking brimstone and fire and bullets flying and grenades being tossed mm-hmm. in the relationship world because 
It's just ridiculous. Nobody is in reality. That's it's it. extreme size on both sides, not just women, but, but men. But, uh, the, but to the soft guy era is in response to what some men feel is ridiculous from women. So to me, I agree with that. I, I'm, I agree with 25,000%. If I'm with my man and we out, I'm about to swipe my card. I'm about to be going to go on a trip. Oh, you booked the trip? Yeah, babe, I booked the trip. So I agree with her. I agree with her. Like, that's a cool thing to do and to be able to do. And it don't take nothing away from your man. But I'm saying when you come into these relationships, I, I don't know if you guys heard about this, that it's a group of men, it's men that's t attaching to women that's in nursing school. Waiting for like proposing to them before they graduate from nursing school. You, you know, they, it's <laughs> men that's out here just doing dumb stuff. No, I mean, well, it would be the same thing as females, that's like attaching to the basketball that's players. That's right. So that's why I said drizzle, drizzle. Hold on, I want to say two things about both of y'all. Baby, I appreciate the type of woman you are. I love you to death. Nay, I appreciate what type of woman you are. I love you to death, right? Both of y'all are great women. And I get why it triggered you because you're you don't need to speak from your perspective, yeah. both of you guys, mm -hmm. women, excuse me, ladies. But I was just speaking in general. But it's like I really pay attention. Because I want to talk about this shit. So I'm paying attention. And it's a big thing. And you go in there's thousands of comments, hundreds of thousands of shares, and hundreds of thousands of likes. Yo, this is really going on. People are paying attention. So the way you take the temperature of society is going any comment section. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, they're crazy. Hiding behind their phone and computer. They're oh, telling you how they really feel. Number ABC seven three three user said X Y Z. But the thing is, though, you can hopefully. I hope when people see that stuff, they don't let it bleed into their real life. Problem is, some people just like some people do. That's the problem. They try to live through talking points. No, they can't. You can't live through other people's lives, like what you said earlier about in other people' business. Like the other side of the drizzle, drizzle is the guy who said, "Yeah, you fifty fifty minutes this y'all trash and y'all this and blah blah blah, right?" But this guy could afford his wife a certain type of lifestyle, and he probably cheat and he got a sword on there. <laughs> So that's the other side when you that's look a, behind it's, the curtain. It's a flip so, side to everything. You see what I'm saying? So like, so it's 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 all these extreme sides, but people is not even reasoning with the reality of how we really living out here, and that's crazy. And I don't think, and, and people shouldn't get up on that phone and think that that's reality because that's only snippets of people's life. Yeah, I think when it come down to it, you have to communicate with your partner and watch who you keep around you. Mm. I think a lot of people, and this is not me saying married people can't hang with single people, right? Because I don't believe that. But I'm saying you got to watch who you're around because you, your, your village, you take a village, I think you take a village, you put a village around your marriage. Mm. Like, Larry is my cousin, my first cousin. I love him to death, but I'm love not standing on nothing that he do that's stupid. I'm going to call him to the carpet. You're not going to be out of line. You know why? Because I love him. And because I love him, I love his marriage. I want his marriage to win. And I think you put yourself around people that's not for you, who don't give a damn, you're going to suffer. You got weak-minded people that... You got people around people yes, around yes. them to justify the bullshit they do. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, like, and I hate when I call Larry sometimes. Like, I hate when I call him with a serious topic and he just make it very simple. Like, this is what it is. Like, you've got to have people that can get you here and can level with you. Stop hanging around with single people that's hipping and hopping and living a lifestyle that you're not living. That's first oh, thing first. You ain't got no business out there with them people. Or even married people. Married people, single people, whoever. If they're living mm -hmm. a certain lifestyle that and you don't want you. it to bleed into your relationship, get away from them people. High and buy. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what a lot of people, and a lot of times, I know people hate it, like what they say, birds. Birds flock, flock, together. flock together. Yeah. Even if that's not your style, when you start hanging around that person too much, you may start moving a certain type of way sometimes. Only pushback I give you in that sense because, like, I'm a man. I know all kinds of men, and they do different things for whatever reason. Because to men, we just a lot of stuff is not emotional. It's reasons why. It's logic. Like, you, yeah, it's a reason why. Like, I love my family. I don't want to lose my family, but she don't like to have sex for whatever reason. Or he fucked up, so he might get some pussy when he can, but he's not on the hunt. Then you got guys who just on the hunt. <laughs> Put this on. on the Still hunt. on the hunt. Use this. But you know you're what, not though? Reliable. You can. <laughs> <that too. laughs> but the but, thing you know is, sorry, I'm. Right, I'm gonna tell you this. Like, hold on. Let me say this last part. That that don't necessarily make the other guys around them. Maybe 
it's more or less for like pack animals, women, respectfully. It's like, no, but like a lot of times when, when men get older, for the most part, they kind of think for themselves. Like, you about when you get a certain age, you are who you are. Like, mm -hmm. he might be the cheater, he might be the one that always need to borrow money, he might be this one that always what's the name, but then it's like we are group. And typically for men in those circles, like, we might not necessarily agree whether he might got his finances together, but he cheat. And I might be a loyal man. My finance is fucked up. We kind of balance each other out when it comes to trying to get each other yeah, on the nice. right track. Right. But my thing is this, Larry, you can't really compare yourself to most men because you, you discipline what I, what I'm learning. Men that's not disciplined going to always give you problems because you got to be disciplined to stay faithful because I'm not a fool. Men are flesh, more flesh. We are more emotional. So sometimes I do believe, don't shoot me to it. I do believe sometimes for men, it's just sex. 